with Gracie Downs, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's start the timer. Boom. TNT, would you consider yourself a lucky person? No. No? Not. Would Absolutely. you consider yourself unlucky? No. So you're just, you, do you believe in luck, I guess, then? Do I believe yeah, in like, luck? Yeah, since like, you, since you neither consider yourself, yourself lucky or unlucky, do you believe luck is a thing, or do you believe we make our own destiny? Or it's all random? Wow. wow. I believe that there can be a difference between uh, the amount of good things that a person can experience by pure randomization and a disparaging amount of uh, bad things that can happen to other people. Yes. Okay. Well, this but is not luck, the route no. I was planning on going, but I like where you where, you, where you've steered me here. Now, you know my mind, dude. So what do you what do you? Um, <laughs> my mind because I was going to talk about things that maybe have happened to us, but no, no, I like this better. So what do you think? There's a cause of that. Do you think it's like a karma thing? Like the more you good you do, the good things that happen to you, or some people are just prone to have bad stuff happen to them. Or I don't, I don't necessarily believe in karma. I believe that you will be held accountable, whether it be in this life or. Some, whatever some yeah. afterlife you will be held accountable for the, the the bad shit that you do um but i don't necessarily believe in karma <clears throat> yeah well like I the feel more like... bad you do the worse off you're gonna be no there's millionaires out here that are doing just fine just terrible people that just yeah. but that's not to say but here's the thing but i guess it's all subjective because so like say yeah anybody who has a billion dollars they've definitely hurt and crushed people's dreams exactly. along the line but who's just because that dude has a billion dollars who's not to say that person isn't completely effing miserable and hate themselves and they have a terrible wife a, who ruins their life or their a husband point. or that's a good point money does not money does not buy happiness a lot of people with money will tell you that money definitely takes away a lot of the problems that a person has in life but it also causes its own problems it causes its own problems yes it does yeah because um i feel like if i got if like all of a sudden i became super rich and like people knew i was rich not like because there's a lot of people who are rich people have no idea because mm -hmm. they either have good investments or their family's rich and they don't know but if you're like Bill Gates, everyone knows you're rich. You know what I mean? Or something like that. Because if, if I felt everyone knew I was rich, and I, moving forward, I would question if anyone who was trying to date me or be trying to be my friend had good intentions or just wanted to, like, leech off me in some yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, like, because, like, right now, I'm just a regular dude. So, like, if a woman starts starts having interest in me, first off, I'm like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> no, I'm joking. But... But it's like I know it's like it's it's probably pretty pure. I don't have a lot of like things to offer as far as like money or. So you're saying is that they're actually interested in you? Yeah, exactly. And we we spoke on this before. Yeah, and, and it kind of it feeds into the point that you look at uh, Jeff Bezos, where he is the richest man in America, World. billion yeah, yeah billions of dollars to his name, yet he still ended up getting a divorce. He ended up meeting the same fate in his relationship that. The person who works at Burger King. Yeah, I mean, I, I I was got married and got divorced. It, it happened, and it's just like money wasn't enough to fix his relationship. It wasn't enough to keep his relationship going. It wasn't. It didn't substitute the fact that he had to show a certain degree of love and affection to his wife. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't substitute the fact that he couldn't be infidelitous. Right. You've got all that money, and you still feel the need to go out and cheat. Well, the, uh, the or money you've got all that money. What, what's that? The money could have caused the demise. I mean, it's very, it definitely did, because as soon as you get all that money, you're going to have women throwing it at you. But, you know, even still, I feel like the every man, average men have have temptation and women have temptation all the time. It's just about whether or not you're willing to capitulate. Right. But well, it, it, money didn't change anything in the sense that he's still human. Yeah. I think money gives you a, a huge dose of I don't give an F. Yeah. Because, like, if you have a bunch of money and you're independently wealthy it doesn't matter what you do for work it doesn't matter who you're dating because if it, it makes you more of like a child in a sense because because <laughs> if you don't get your way you can just move on and you have no rent because like you can support yourself like a lot of people get stuck in relationships because they're like okay well we're so entwined i don't know how i how i'd separate and like support myself or like you know it's like i need this job i can't quit this job because i can't i'll lose my house but like Dude, if I if I was rich and just worked because I wanted to, if that job pissed me off, I'd be out in a. I'd be like, 
I don't need this job. I'll go find another job I like doing. Like, yeah. you're stressing me out. Like, if your partner's toxic, you're like, I don't need this. Like, I'll go find somebody else who doesn't stress me out. I feel you. Now, and, and that's just one aspect of the whole uh, do do I feel like certain people experience luck. I don't want to necessarily belabor the whole money issue. No, money is But it, it yeah. is one of the big points. Um, do I feel like there's a certain degree of luck? Yeah, I feel like certain people who make it out of like bad neighborhoods and they end up going to college like – does that take a certain degree of luck? Because you're necessarily doing some of the same things. Like, think about where we came from. Right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of the people that we went to school with are either getting out of rehab or they have, they're trapped in relationships with, like, huge families. Whether they like it or not, right, they right, may, yeah. to them, they may be in the luckiest position of their life. Or they're dead. We have a lot of friends who have just passed away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And then we have other friends who, mo- who moved away. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of times. So are we lucky? I I would say there's there's a there's a line of of luck and putting yourself in a good situation, because if you because here's the thing, dude. How did you get how did you get out of our shithole town? What was uh, the point where you said I'm moving? Um, I want you to really think about it. When I actually well I left and then came back. I moved away for school. And then the school was kind of eh, so I quit that school and moved back. Mm-hmm. And then I moved again just because I just – I knew that – see, I just knew there was nothing there to be successful okay. and was like I have to go somewhere else to try to find opportunity. Okay. And so it was om- – there was some mo- motiv- uh, internal motivation about – because I want – I wanted to have another opportunity. Not mm-hmm. that I thought I was going to reinvent myself or anything, but like I knew that the options were limited. And then eventually I was just like – the only reason I actually moved away and what's kept me away – was like my mom moved out of state when I was young and then I was like in a situation where I was just like well I might as well go try that place out but it was still about the lines of like what else is out there in the world there has to be something better than this see and and see my my path is a little bit different while yours might have been kind of like your own your own determination to a certain extent caused it I I I can't lie and say that it wasn't a, a certain uh subset of like uh people that helped me to that point and i'm fortunate to have those people in my life is essentially my story is i got hooked on freaking drugs out there to the point where i was just like living in like a a meth house and <laughs> and then one day my mom comes and sees me and she's like are you sure you're okay and she's crying and stuff i'm like oh i'm good and then she was like uh i think you should maybe move to cleveland and cleveland was the better choice yeah right right exactly <laughs> Yeah. Moving to Cleveland was the better choice yeah. Yeah. than living in the town that we lived in. Well, you know, and I guess I guess I can And that was the thing that started the roller coaster to the point of where I am now, which is and thankful you know, that I got out of that town away from the drugs, away from that element, but I can't say that I made the conscious decision. So I have to say is that if you if you want to call it luck to the a certain degree, intervention. to a certain degree it was luck. It was yeah. luck that I had people who were like Yes, I'll help you move. Yes, I'll take you in until you get on your feet. Yeah, maybe that, you know, that's part of that. Because, like, you know, if I think about the, that time, it was like I wasn't doing anything and, like, I wasn't making any money. And, like, we were whatever. complacent. Yeah, well, and my, and my mom was just like, well, if you're willing to come out here, you can come and stay with us. And I only lived out there about a year and came back to Ohio. But I, when I came back to Ohio, I went to a different part of Ohio mm-hmm. and, like, never went back to Ashtabula after that. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, so if she wouldn't have offered that, like, hey, you can come stay with me and see if you, how you like would it you, out here. Do you think you would have stayed? Probably. I probably would have ended up moving, still moving out to Cleveland and stuff. But it, it's, and it's like I, I can't find a lot of regret in anything I've done because everything I've done has led me to where I am and I'm happy where I've ended up. You know what I mean? Like, not, I'm not saying I couldn't have better, but like Austin's a pretty cool place to live. Mm-hmm. I got, I mean, like I'm financially stable enough that I'm not, I'm not living paycheck to paycheck. Woo. And I, you know, it's like, uh, well, before COVID, I was pretty happy with like everything going on. Do you and, think you would have been luckier if you were born a woman? I don't know. Maybe I probably, uh, I don't know. It just depends. But f- from our town, a lot of the people that we knew from our town, they'd end up getting stuck cause they end up having babies, hey, whether they man. wanted to or not. You know, do you, do you think you would have been luckier if you had been born, uh, rich, rich? Um, well, yeah, I think I would have been, but I, I could have, I don't think I would be as decent of a person as I am now. Okay. I feel like, I'm just to say is that being rich does not absolve a person of learning all the things that 
normal people have to learn. They learn the same lessons. They it, learn them a little bit differently, but they, they always have learn. a crux to fall back on, though. It's a like, little bit, but it, I mean, you know. Well, I know people that like you still got to learn that that men ain't crap, women ain't crap, right? Well, I know people who like who parent their parents like they aren't rich, but they're far from average. You know what I mean? Like they aren't like they aren't like Bezos, but and they aren't like even like a Trump level of money at mm-hmm. times. But like they're not, they never suffered. You know what I mean? Like yeah, they have yeah, yeah, yeah. a nice house, they had all the gadgets, went on vacations, but they still have all sorts of issues, man. Like it's just, it's almost like when your parents are rich like that, they pretend they almost can pretend that your issues don't exist, mm-hmm. you know? And then you're like, then you're just left to struggle as an adult to figure all this ish out because you were pampered when you were a kid. Yep. So anyways, but that's what's on me for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to the crazy uh, for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are up.